Yo, 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 it's Sengeku, and today we're going to talk about Power Edit, which is the single best Power World mod that you can download, especially if you don't want to deal with the breeding system. But picture it as a PK hex, and you can edit any PAL in your box. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get the mod. You're going to head over to Nexus Mods, and you're going to search for PAL Edit, which will look like this. So when you get PAL edit, I can leave links in the description, but they need to be copy and pasted since my YouTube account isn't approved yet. And we're going to manually download this. We'll do everything from scratch. And when you manually download this, you want to just throw it in a folder and extract it. So I threw it on my desktop in a PAL edit folder and just extracted it here. And you'll have a .exe and a resource folder. And the backup I made for backing up my save, which we can explain. The first thing we do is we're going to head into local disk C. We're going to go to users. You're going to find your user profile. Mine's called skater. I'm going to go to app data, local. We're going to go to pow, saved games. And right here are all your saves. You're going to find which pow save you want to edit which mine's going to be this one. So you want to back this up. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to throw this in on my desktop. You can put it wherever you want. And I'm going to put it in a backup folder in the pow edit folder. So this is my backup of my save before we edit. And what, we're, what we want to do is get this save. After it's backed up, you're going to open your pal edit and it's going to want you to find your level dot save. So in your backup save, you'll see a level dot save, which I also backed up right here. Level dot save. This is what the pal edit uses. So we're going to file and we're going to convert. The first thing we want to do is convert this level dot save to a json so we're going to convert save to json and mine's right here in backup so i'll take the one out of backup because we don't want to do that one and i'll throw it with the pow edit so we'll go to pow edit and right here level dot save this takes a few minutes to load because it has to load all your pals We'll just let this load. If you find this video useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. But the pow edit's pretty amazing. We're gonna show you real time. It usually takes about a minute or two to convert. And see right here, it's already starting. We have the JSON file converting and the pow edit folder. So it is making the thing. It's going to say not responding. Do not click this out. Just let it continue. If it says not responding. It's still working. You can edit work speeds, you can edit traits, you can edit their level, you can edit anything, just like PK Hex. The hardest thing for me to do right now, we're gonna have to try and find a PAL so I can show you. So hopefully we edit one that's inside our PAL box. We need this level JSON because this is what we edit 
And then we turn that back into a save file and transfer that save file to our, our save. So here we go, it finished. These are all my pals I have. So I'm not sure why I have multiple shiny cell rays when I have one. I'm not sure if it's like server or what. It says chill, it's dead, daydream's dead. I'm not sure. I definitely have them, and I don't know why their attacks are at zero, that's not true. These are the boss Pokemon that you glitch catch. So we'll try a... what do I know is in my... I know the shinies are in there. I'm just not sure what shiny it would be. Let's try these shiny cell rays. We'll take the shiny cell ray. Both of them. Now I'm not sure if these are... Let's see, there's multiple. Let's load up our... We can load up our game real quick and see. We'll double check our pals and try to edit one that we know is in here. So we can show you. load up our game see who we can edit go to our shinies so we do have multiple shiny chickpeas shiny cell ray i don't see two see so this one is a girl level three with lucky and brave so, girl level 3 with lucky and brave. This is the one we're going to edit. Perfect. So we're going to return to title. And we're going to close our game. Because we're going to transfer that save file when we're done. We're going to quit. We want this one. Level 3. We're going to make it level 50. And we know where it's at inside the pal box. Because you want to be able to find them. That's the hardest thing. And the max is 100 on everything. So we're just going to do 999 and I'll change it to 100. Rank 4. And right here, you can change them to whatever you want. And when you hover over it, it'll tell you at the bottom what it does. So lucky is 15% attack and 15% work speed. But you can click these presets. So I want a worker. And it'll change it to the best work stats. So we have artisan, lucky, serious, and work slave, which is perfect. So we edited the cell ray and now this was the one we edited. It should make a new one. Let's see what happens. We're going to delete this. I'm deleting the level dot save, not the JSON because we're going to make a new level dot save file here. So we're going to do save changes and you want to save it to the level dot save json you have to override it so we're going to overwrite this one yes and it says saving please be patient this can take up to five minutes so we'll let this finish and i'll be right back guys all right so it only takes a couple minutes and we Override, uh, overwrote the level.save.json. So now that this is overwrote with the new cell ray, we're going to go to converter and convert JSON to save. Like I said, we deleted the old level dat that we were editing. So we're going to do convert JSON to save and we're going to do the new one. And right here, converting, this may take a while. So give it a few minutes. And you'll see a new level dot, like a level dot save. You'll see a new one appear in here.
There's the level dot save. So it should be finishing up. It's done. This is our new file with our new shiny celery. So we can exit pow edit. We're going to open up our saves again. So local disc C, users, app data, local, how, saved, saved games, and we're editing this one. We're going to drag this over and replace the file in our save. And like I said, always back up your old one. So we're going to replace this. Bada bing. We're going to close all this and we're going to load up our game and check our pow box. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is the best pow world mod. No breeding needed. Full editing. Thank you to the modders. Let's just double check our pow box and make sure everything worked correctly. We did everything right. We'll load up our pals. Go to our shinies. Shiny Cell Ray. Level 50. Artisan, Sirius, Luck 3, and Work Slave. It def the pal edit definitely works. Oh my heavens, look at that worker. What a working boy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go edit a million pals. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.